Welcome to the second episode of Series 49, everyone. We are hanging in there after the last episode. It was touch and go for a little while. Uh, Ryan, are you doing okay? Uh, maybe not in this episode. Yeah? Yeah, you... Ugh, there's there's stuff coming up. Yeah, <laughs> honestly, all of you are in for a treat. And I'm going to say that, like, I felt no amount of schadenfreude at all. Like, I didn't take any pleasure in any of this. You, can, he you can hear it so many times. <laughs> Me being like, hey, we told you. <laughs> You're like, I know this is a horrible game, but I'm having so much joy seeing Ryan suffer. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> worth it. <laughs> so definitely stick around for that. Um, but before we let you hear Ryan being upset and me being happy for once, <laughs> uh, we have some announcements. Absolutely. Uh, first up, we have uh, Deimos Academy is in its final stretches of crowdfunding on Kickstarter as of the release of this episode. Um, I think it's got like maybe one or two days left, so... Definitely check that out. Uh, this is a game we covered on a Spotlight episode last month. It utilizes a coloring book and paper dolls as part of its mechanics, and it's really just a lovely game. So uh, it's fully funded now, which is really Yay! great. I know. Um, it wasn't last time we recorded. It wasn't. Yeah, it was like a couple days after we recorded it, fully funded. And, and nice, now, nice. now they're going for some stretch goals. Uh, so you can join them just under the wire uh, and help fulfill some of those. The other game to check out is Yoseba's Bed and Breakfast, if you haven't yet. It is a slice-of-life magical RPG. It looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. The art is beautiful. The game just seems like so much fun. Uh, we Another one that we covered on a Spotlight episode. Yeah. Um, they have added some really phenomenal stretch goals, including a Haith Grant stretch goal at 400k. This would set aside $20,000 in funds for people to create some stuff for the game. Um, is it just for, for the game? Oh, it's for anything. For anything, right? Yes, okay. people have created yeah. music. People have created other games. People have created art. It's like uh, just some amazing uh, stuff. The first Haith Grant from the Wander Home campaign created a lot of amazing stuff um, by helping to fund folks who were trying to break into the industry. It kind of helps give them a little bit of a leg up rather than, you know, people just posting their stuff on itch and hoping for the best. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so it's really great to see that they could possibly come back with this campaign. Uh, they do need help getting there, though. Um, as, as great as they are doing to get to this goal, they need a little more help. So mm -hmm. if you have not backed the game yet, now is a great chance. Um, this one is on Indiegogo, not on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. um, but we will put a link to it in the show notes. And um, we've been tweeting about it as well, if you want to find it over there. Yeah. Um, it's a cool game. It's, it's a cool game. Cool. I like it a lot. Uh, another announcement is that uh, I'm in my new office now. Uh, you can probably hear a, a massive difference in sound quality uh, in this cold open. Ryan is like so upset about this difference in sound quality. He's like, there's so much reverb and it's so tan. I'm like, I can kind of like a little bit hear it. Yeah. And dear listeners, by the time he's done editing it, you probably won't hear it at all. I, I know. And so he's over here like, I'm sure that you can tell that it's massively different. And I'm like, that's like, like, a, like a little you know what? hollow. Okay. like. Like, maybe you took something down off the wall or, like, you're standing I'm, in a doorway. I'm going to ask Aram uh, to listen uh, and, and see if he can tell. Okay, that's not, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. That's like me being like, I can't tell the difference between real diamonds and fake diamonds. And you'd be like, let me have this jeweler look at them. I bet they can tell. Like, yes, obviously. <laughs> obviously they can tell. You know what I'm saying. Uh, no, I don't. Yeah. Most of the time, I don't. <laughs> Either way. Um, so so the office is almost done. I've got sound panels uh, going to be coming within maybe the next week or so, um, and that'll tighten everything up nicely, and mm -hmm. I cannot wait. No, it's going to be really awesome when you're done. Like, I'm, I'm excited for you. Yeah, it's going to look fantastic. As much as I'm making fun of you, I am I excited for you and, like, slightly jealous. I know. Um, but <laughs> uh, but it's, it, it's really cool. I've got so much space in here for, like, a table. Uh, and some other stuff. So like, so, like activities. Well, yeah, like no, we could like record whatever in here. Um, we could even like record like uh, like Dread or Starcross or whatever. Like I could um, come to your house. Yes. Whoa. Like an hour and a half north of you. 
And I mean, that's really not that far. I'm going to go to Chicago next week. Yeah, that's two that's hours. even further. I know. That's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's nice. It's a nice little uh, podcasting oasis. I like it. Yeah. Oh, I'm really excited for you. I know. I, on the other hand, have been hard at work uh-huh. <laughs> making playlists for our yeah. old episodes. Um, just trying to match genre and vibe to the games that we used and the stories and characters that we made in those episodes. I have been sharing them on Twitter and in our Discord and on our Instagram. Um, if you're looking for a new soundtrack in your life, those are out there. I have done now one for Deadlands Reloaded. I just finished one for Headspace. Mm-hmm. Uh, I did one for our Unbound series. Did one for the uh Christmas Belonging series, and then obviously our Star-Crossed ones from forever ago. Oh, yeah. Um, but I am hoping to kind of keep making more if the mood strikes me and I can find enough, like, genre difference and stuff, but it's been, um, it's been a fun, creative activity to, like, sort of yeah. stretch my muscles to, like, find I, things that are not what I would pick normally. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed them so far, so yeah. Uh, yeah, it's really awesome to see, and and uh, if, there's, if there's anything that uh, you think might belong on a paid playlist for one of our series uh, mm-hmm. for for a character just uh, throw it throw it our way and maybe it'll end up on there definitely um in other news we just passed our uh, four-year anniversary uh Ooh. for podcasting and we would love to do a q a mailbag episode to celebrate like we did after our first year we have a google form where you can submit questions to us uh, and we'll answer them in an upcoming episode you can find that at questions.charactercreationcast.com. If there is anything you want to know about how we make the show, our thoughts on elements of game design, or if you're looking for advice on your next character, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we have a link in the show notes as well. Uh, we also have a link on our Discord at discord.charactercreationcast.com. Um, so there's plenty of ways to get the link and get your questions to us. We already have quite a few uh, that I'm really excited to answer. Uh, some that I have no idea how to answer yet. Uh, mm-hmm. But we'll find a way. And and how many of them are terrible questions that I'm going to hate answering? Uh, at least three. Cool. Great. Yep. Love at, it. At least three. Okay. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> okay. Well, everyone, that's it for announcements. Thank you for sticking with us through all of that Mm -hmm. uh, in anticipation of what's about to come please enjoy this episode (laughs) it it sure is (laughs) it sure is an episode last episode of Character Creation Cast, Jeff was making an undead, John was making a deity, Amelia was making a usiform robot, and I was making a changeling. We're picking up right where we left off last time. Enjoy. All right, I suppose I, I should figure out how many powers, talents, and contacts I, I have. I just rolled a gun of 95, which means I have 10 friggin' powers. Oh, well, I was that's hoping amazing. to avoid... I haven't even got into weak. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna save I have two. I'm gonna save the. Two. Do I have to roll weakness 13. for all of my forms? <laughs> do I have to roll weakness for all my forms? Probably. I mean, you could just roll it once and say this is the weakness I have for yeah, all my forms. Yeah, just do it that way. It's much easier. Oh my goodness! Might as well. In fact, I'm sure you're supposed to. Because <laughs> having a different weakness for each one would just mean that you're constantly shifting to avoid your weaknesses. I know, all right. Now I have plus two powers because I'm a deity, so I go to four powers. All right, so let's see. I got ten powers. <laughs> One talent and no contacts. I got four talents and four contacts out of a possible five. Okay. That's right, 68. That's so, so much work. As a Energy deity. depletion is my weakness. That makes sense for all my weirdness. Yeah. 
as deity, I automatically get a travel Wait. power. Ooh, that so, is oh, good. so there's a there's a stimulus. That's the energy depletion. Then there's the effect that I roll. Yes. So then, so here, it's uh, fifty three, which is incapacitation, and then duration eight, continuous with contact. Interesting. So you get knocked out as long as someone is draining your energy. Yeah. All right. <laughs> My travel power is teleport others. <laughs> <laughs> Not yourself. Not me. You could just send send kids on their way to various trick or treat houses. Yeah. <laughs> I banish you to the rich people houses with full size Snicker bars. I'm about to send this kid to the <laughs> shadow realm. <laughs> Okay, so I rolled that I get two powers. I'm so far behind. Uh, where am I at now? Uh, you shouldn't be that far behind. If you you were just doing you your just weaknesses, did weaknesses, right? right? I I skipped like half of my stats. Uh, oh, because you're gonna go back to them. Yeah, All right, I'll come so back to them later. If you're done with weaknesses, just roll a d100. You're you should be on power generation, which is on page 14. Okay. And find out how many powers you have. I guess. 14. <laughs> what What am I looking at here? The power <laughs> okay, table. what did you roll? <laughs> I rolled a 95. Same as me. 10 powers out of a possible 12. Four <sighs> talents out of a possible four. Four contacts out of a possible five. This is useful because you have so many forms, which means that you can now have some you powers. Split powers. Yeah. You, you can split can, powers, yeah. Yes. That's that's nice. Um, and then you're gonna put ten you're gonna put ten entries on your sheet that you're gonna fill out. Some of these cost two powers, some of them force you to take an extra power. Uh, that makes sense for them. So whenever you see that, you'll if you get one that's like, oh, you took, uh, you know, teleport through time. This automatically comes with regular teleporting. Put them both down. You have both powers and you lose a slot. So then for picking the powers, we roll on this like power class thing and then go to that table and, and then roll, roll again. again. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. So I only have to do this twice. But... Ten powers, huh? Yeah. All right, so first thing I rolled is 86, or power control, which is a bummer for the first power, but we'll make it work. The first one I rolled 37, which is magic. Magic. 22, which is energy emission. Do I go to an energy emission? Oh, there is an energy emission subtable. Mm -hmm. Yep. 26, fire generation. Cool. Yeah, you can generate fire with one of your forms or with all of them. Nice. Okay. All right. So I got a 35, which is magic transferal. Fighting. Yeah, you get a fight power. Amazing. I seem to have rolled something called gestalt. I have no idea what that is. That's a combination of multiple things. Yeah. Where you, uh, like the there's a gestalt uh, Heroes Unlimited, I think, uh, in one of the sub power books. Or whatever, yeah. uh, 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 PCC or whatever, RCC. I don't know what they call them anymore. I'm going to re-roll this one because since I'll be running the game, this one requ requires interaction with other players. And since I'll be running the game, I kind Oh, of, you have to combine yeah, with someone. I, I, I'm not yeah. going to use it because... I mean, isn't that like uh, the Megazord power effectively? Uh, the, the Marvel example that they list is Aurora and Northstar, but I would also suggest Fenris. You have to you have to write down the two characters when they get like, your wonder twins. You get, it's a wonder twin thing, which since my character is going to be a background NPC, I don't want to mess with everyone else's characters. So I'm okay. just gonna re, I'm just going to reroll it. I got weapons tinkering as my second power. Nice. That's pretty much forge. You just make oh, okay. stuff. That's going to be a bummer because you'll have to interact with a bunch of uh, uh, subsystems. And I guarantee you, I will never let it happen in an AP because we won't have the time. <laughs> Physical <laughs> enhancement. I'll just be like, fine, you have a pistol now. Yeah. This is the most wild uh, amount of tables I I have ever seen. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yep. That's that's the <laughs> ultimate powers book. I like that Body I have reasons. two powers, and one of those powers is giving my power to other people. Nice. <laughs> Can you give right. that power to other people? Nope. Defense. Very power. clearly says that you cannot. Oh, okay. Eight. Body armor. Body resistance. P2. Rolling again. <laughs> God. Mental enhancement. Uh, the other thing is each one of these powers itself has a rank. I think they all roll on rank five. I'm trying to remember if that's correct or not. Or on column five. Okay. 
I'm trying to dig that information up. Give me just a second. 59. Mental enhancement. Mental enhancement. Oh, there's a whole bunch of uh, these. Hyper intelligence. This is so boring. I have one power that's like to give my power to other people, and then the other one is be super smart. <laughs> oh, all you can do is get make other people super smart. You know, yeah. you can just re-roll. No one's gonna get mad at you. I just got hyper intelligence as one of my powers. See, that's the, what's exactly <laughs> what I just got. So. You just got hyper. You get, how did both of us get hyper? I don't know. <laughs> But I think I'm going to roll again, because that's, like... Trash. Yeah. Like, if all I can do otherwise is give that power to other people, that's stupid. You're like, I'm smart, and I can be dumb if I want someone else to be smart. <laughs> right? I can make you smart, too. <laughs> that's some Xanthian crap. No one wants that. All right, I've got six more go. powers to generate. This is... This is time-consuming. Welcome to the 80s. A hundred. Travel. I wasted my hundred on travel. No, you didn't. You get travel. I guess that's true. Uh, where's my travel table? Travel powers. 57. Oh, it goes to the next page. Yep. Okay. Hello. Skywalk. <sighs> What's up, Luke? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> so let's see. Rank 72 on column five. I'm sure there's parts in the book that explains these all like yes. to the nitty gritty detail, right? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, you can just you, you can just use a, uh, a control F to dig up the name of the power and go down to it. Lordy, thirty-seven magic. Ooh, I've got magic in one of my forms at least. All right, now I have disintegration. Oh, that's a pretty oh. good album. Ninety-six warding, MG thirteen. All right, let's see. That would be a... If you do a find on that code, does that take you right there? It mm -hmm. does. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's that's kind of smart, actually. I was like, what are these codes for? Why is, this is weird. Pretty future-proofed, huh? I guess. That makes sense. All right, so I've got uh, four more abilities to roll. Another fighting ability. I'm going to re-roll because it's the exact same one I rolled before. There you go. Martial supremacy. You're just slightly better at fighting than whoever you happen to be fighting. Oh, that's that's kind of wild. Yep. That's a wild and crazy kid. Feels a, a lot like um, one of my favorite characters from Heroes Unlimited that I had played. Um, <laughs> uh, Mishra, she she had natural combat ability. So like after one melee round of 15 seconds of observing somebody fight, she got that person's combat stance uh, yep. or martial arts uh, at her level and and like on top of the stuff she already had. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good one. Ooh, that's not, all that's right, not that's bad. cool. So far, this character is just... I've only rolled two of my ten powers because I've been explaining a lot and looking things up, but I, I just... My two powers are body armor and force field versus hostiles. <laughs> <laughs> Back off! No, no one's getting anywhere near him. Matter control. That sounds cool. 75. Molding. Which sadly is the ability to like shape wood with your hands and not the ability to mold. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, if I'm playing an undead guy, I would love to be all moldy. Two more. Two more. And then I'm I'm done rolling my powers. I'm glad I'm glad I didn't have to do this for each of my forms. Yeah, you're going to you're going to split them out amongst your forms instead. Yeah, I'm probably taking forever because I'm I'm rolling the ranks up while I'm doing this, which is probably backwards because it means I'm moving around too much. So I'll stop doing that. I got body armor as one of my abilities as well. Yep. That's a good one to get. All right. Last one. I want something super exciting. Travel power and yeah, travel power is. Yeah, I know. I would have loved a power that like helped to find me a little bit more, but. Give yourself another one. Cut your resources down by one and you can have one more power. Uh, That's the real rule. I'm not making stuff up. This time? Actually, this. <laughs> oh. I don't know. What, what were my resources to begin with? How do I know that? You got to roll that. You got to roll it. Just assume you have a minus one to it and roll yourself another power for fun. Okay. I've got matter gonna... creation powers. And if I roll 89 or higher, I could be a podcaster because it's got <laughs> webcasting. That's definitely what that means. Yeah, that's what that in 1986. That's what that meant. <laughs> we don't have to worry about that because I got mechanical creation. I guess that make makes robots. a lot of sense. Yeah. MCR4. I chemical romance? Yep. 
<laughs> I have a floating disc. All right, that's my that's my travel power, floating disc. That's kind of cool. I like that power though. Yeah, just floating around on a uh, on a disc or multiple. It makes discs. sense for like a Sentai thing for sure. Yeah, I did just get webcasting. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so it makes sense because I, I kind of want to be a cool spider robot. So. Oh yeah. I want to see what Skywalk is. I believe there's a Herald of Galactus that has it. It's a guy who can just walk on the sky. A peculiar form of flying. Can walk along an invisible path that is created in the air. Mm -hmm. Only serves the hero and only exists as long as he concentrates on maintaining its existence. Intangible to others unless the hero can extend its benefits to them by such powers such as uh, by much such means as power stunt, power transferal, or telekinesis. I just got my first one that counts, counts as two powers. You can tell if they're double powers, by the way, because they have an asterisk after their name. Oh, should I have been looking at that? Uh, yeah. yeah. If it has an asterisk, that means it's two powers. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me look at all my things again. So I might have rolled too many. So let's see. Energy emission. Goodness. So many things to keep track of here. Yeah. Skywalk is not. All right. So that means I have one, two, three, four, five, but one of them is two, so it's six. So I have, yeah, two more powers to go. Oh, no, wait. I had 10. I have four more powers to go. And I have one more power, and I keep rolling double powers. So I'm like, <laughs> oh, can't take that one. Let's reroll. All right. A physical enhancement of. Okay. I don't. Sure, it's another double power, but I can afford another double power. At this point, as many as you have to roll, it's almost better to take double ones. <laughs> it is. I only have to roll two more now, because between those two and the other four I have, I'm up to eight. Oh, I have to re-roll my matter creation, because that's my only double power, and that was the very last one I had rolled. Uh -huh. Mechanical creation. That makes it easy. Yeah, you it can does. either get rid of a power you already rolled to take the double, or just re-roll a different power. I'm going to re-roll a different power. Elemental creation. Nice. Sounds fine. All right, 10 powers, five forms, one person. All right, one more. Wow. And I can get two more powers throughout play, right? Uh, yeah, meant. although, as I mentioned in the, in the earlier discussion, they are so wildly expensive that you just never see it actually happen. Okay. Theoretically. I mean, who knows in an AP? I'm not using any of these rules. <laughs> Wow. The, so I finally, after four rolls, got a non two power for my last power. Nice. And managed to get true sight so I can see through any disguise so I know what you are behind your costume. <laughs> God of Halloween. Although my other powers are so dumb. So I can teleport others. I have telepathy. I have body resistance, so I'm just tough. And then true sight so I can see through disguises. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's nice and straightforward. I think I'll just keep it because that way I don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, so here's my list of powers. When I'm, I, I haven't rolled the ranks out on all of them yet, but um, all right. So I have 10 powers, and two of them are double powers. Those two double powers are zombie animation. Whoa. So my character can raise zombies from the dead. So you're a dead guy that can raise dead guys. That's right, I'm a dead guy that can raise dead guys. <laughs> I love that. Uh, and the other one is true invulnerability, where I just don't... It's like a double power. Uh, the character is just really hard to damage, which is great when you combine it with his body armor and his force field versus hostiles. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, oh, I finally got through your armor and your force field. Ah, I don't take damage yeah, it anyway. it doesn't matter. The, the first two powers, like, I don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> is it just is it just a ruse then? It's the like just for show. <laughs> he's full on indestructible and also has a bunch of armor and stuff on to make sure that you don't even try. Yeah. Then uh, uh, his other powers beyond the body armor and the force field are the floating disc, which is he flies around on a on a flying surfboardy thing. Uh, shadow casting, where he can create pools of shadow and make weapons out of them and stuff. You and your shadow stuff. Natural weaponry, uh, so he can just sort of pull weapons out of his arms and so on and growth where he can get all huge nice. <laughs> what's, what's and gross what? where he can be all gross <laughs> he has a growth well i think that's at a baseline being undead yeah, yeah no i love that that's perfect he's like a frankenstein who can grow all huge and summon zombies that's amazing and, stop and like making break characters his... that can just get bigger <laughs> <laughs> hopefully i roll really low on that so we can only get a little bigger oh <laughs> yeah no, i've got feeble growth <laughs> <laughs> no, he's just the he's just my elephant from the Heroes Unlimited game. Dead. Yeah. You're oh, a dead no. elephant. Dead elephant. 
Yep. His new name is Elephant Graveyard. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> yeah. The zombies he summons are little elephants. It's the whole oh, thing. No. Little pink elephants. <laughs> it's not very Halloween, but you know. No. Uh, but they, they wear a spooky mask. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, they're elephants wearing spooky little masks. That's terrifying. Each one of them has got a, uh, a headband with cat ears on it and a cat tail tied to its regular tail. Mm-hmm. So how do I uh, how, how do I figure out what these things do exactly? Like I'm looking at the body armor one that I have, right? Because mm-hmm. um, I need to figure out what these do before I can assign them to my forms. Uh, I just looked. I have body armor too, and it is badly written. I, uh, <laughs> I, I think you just get a suit of armor with a rank equivalent to the rank power of the power. So all powers are rolled on the column five from the character creation chart. Oh, did you look that up? Yeah. Okay. And so what you're going to do is now go up to that chart and roll all your powers ranks. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is like the opposite of convoluted is what I'm getting. <laughs> so it's very straightforward. <laughs> okay. So I got to roll this a bunch of times. Here we go. Well, something is going to be absolutely terrible. What will it be? And you wonder why uh, most of the char- character sheets that you had found are character generators. Oh, yeah, because random character generation in this is a hoot. So, I mean, having yeah. being able to smack a button and to see a whole character. I have one open right here. Uh, I can just scroll up a bit and, okay, roll everything. Okay, I got a humanoid race, the origin of a technical procedure. He has 14 powers. They're... V- Really weird. <laughs> He's got a lot of animal mimicry and hyper leaping. I feel like I might have just made Animal Man entirely with a random button press. Animal Man. Well, I get a feeble. I'm going to put it on growth. He can he can get a little bigger. My my weapons tinkering is amazing. Rank forty six. Can we pick which? We can just roll and pick which ones we want to assign it to. Uh, I I was just doing that because I'm a big old cheater. But yeah, go ahead. I don't okay. care. Do as you will. I'm just going down the line and and dealing with what I get. Yeah. All right. So I get an amazing flying disc. I'm going to say that that is a tombstone. I got a poor hyper intelligence. (laughs) But I'm an amazing Skywalker. Remarkable at zombie animation. I can't even figure out what half of this stuff means at this point. (laughs) <laughs> you have to go look them all up. <laughs> Luckily, we have lots of time between this and when we have to record the other one. Uh huh. So, am I recording the rank number, initial rank number for put all down of the these? Num- yeah, put down the name and the and the initial rank number. Oh, I need the name too. Oh uh, no, you don't need it, but I, it's really useful to have. Yeah, because okay. it'll tell you when you call him shift. If you call him shift from remarkable to incredible. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're almost there. Now to figure out what my one talent is. Come on, partying. It's a weapon skill. That's Aww. terrible. I don't want weapon skills. <laughs> my strength is so huge, but your damage is based on the weapon you use. Yep. So if I punch you, it's absolutely unearthly powerful. But if I pick up a baseball bat, it sucks. And I'm just hitting you for baseball bat. Yeah, damage. unless you find an adamantium baseball bat. Okay. He has excellent shadow casting. Great. I have we- my weapon talent is sharp weapons. <laughs> as soon as that knife gets dull, can't use it anymore. Amazing true invulnerability. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he is. The one the one thing I can say for sure about my character is he, he, they won't take any damage. Yeah. Not that it'll matter. I've got uh, four four amazing powers. Uh, weapons tinkering. Skywalking, Martial Supremacy, and Elemental Creation. Nice. Almost feel like my defining power is there. Probably. I mean, I know that my character has uh, feeble growth and uh, a typical suit of power armor, so... Yeah, I have uh, excellent magic transferal and typical disintegration, but my (laughs) webcasting is monstrous, so... (laughs) At That's least amazing. webcasting, we know exactly what it is. Like, it's under, it, it's understood from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's hosting a Twitch stream. Yeah, exactly. There you go. It's a, yeah. But it's old, so it's like hosting an IRC chat or, or a LAN party. Yes. Man, I had, of my four powers, one of them 
where I rolled 100 on it and got monstrous. And it's for telepathy and it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, Why? unless I really want to talk to someone who doesn't want to talk to me, I can be like, no, you will hear me in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> I have amazing teleport others and then typical for my body resistance and true sight. I guess I got to go do my contact and four talents and all that junk, too. Well, I have no contacts and my one talent is stabbing folks with my hobo knife. I have lots of both. What a time to be alive. Are those still in the core book? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I got to go back to the core book to find those roles. Okay. And also how to find out what your resources and popularity is. Right. I have to, I'm going to organize my powers by uh, how good the rank is, I guess. Uh, if, yeah, you can organize them, organize them however you like. Okay, here we go. Talents. All right. Four amazing, three excellent, one typical, two poor. It's good rolling. What is body resistance? Body resistance? I got that. I think it's resistance to stuff that would alter your physical form, although you can... No, body just, resistance is just, you yeah. take less damage. Oh, it's damage reduction, okay. This it's, is the form of body armor most heroes want. Oh, uh, as opposed to body armor. Yeah, it's not armor, it's just your skin is tough. I'm pretty good with true <laughs> invulnerability. Okay, so here's the column for the talent categories, and I gotta do this four times. What page is that on? Because I can find the list it's of It's in them. the core book on page 10. The player's okay. book. Okay. The player's book. There it is, okay. Because it's like, I found all of them listed in the appendix, but where's the rolling? Where? I don't care um, about the answers. I just want to roll the dice. This is, this is hard because, like, I, so, all five of my forms, each one has to have a unique power to itself. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then that power can't go to everything else. So I can do f five of my powers can be the unique powers. And then the other five can be all my forms have it. Uh-huh. All right. I got to figure out what all these mean then. Uh, molding, uh, MC 11. Let's see. A shape, any solid material. Hmm. You know what? My ghost is going to be molding. Cool. That's just like, uh, the movie ghost. You're really good at helping making interesting clay pots. It's <laughs> 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 true. Mm hmm. Unique molding abilities. Unique. Man, I wish one of my talents was trivia. <laughs> <laughs> way better than for webcasting. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got chemistry. Uh, trivia is, it just comes with the deal if you're playing with me. Or John. Hmm. Do not get a trivia contest with us. I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> All right, so my first talent was journalism. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. It's I haven't even got talent. into the talent yet. This is ridiculous. Well, it's right after powers, so it's not like you're... I know. Behind. I know. Okay. Uh, my human robot is going to be the weapon tinkerer. Man, I really did just become Zordon with telepathy and teleporting others. <laughs> oh, I actually did get trivia. What do you know? What? I'm writing nice. down trivia as one of my skills. Oh, my what do you know? Yeah. <laughs> Look at me. Hey. My character knows some trivia. I'm the perfect guest for a webcaster. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. 76 is a scientific skill. <laughs> okay. All right. What else we got? <laughs> sure. um, I'll be able to work that in. Geology. <laughs> I don't want all of my things to be able to skywalk, because that's pretty sweet. All right, what's warding all about? That's a magic one that can, like, fail and, and stuff, right? Uh, wait, what was that now? The mage warding MG13. The mage can create areas of latent power in any desired location. All right, what, what the heck are you reading? Do you have a, you have a, a wizard talent? Yeah, yeah I do. one of the categories is magic. <laughs> oh, one of my okay. categories of my powers is magic. So yeah, I, I've got this magic warding power. Uh, ward is designated by a special substance or mark. The mage decides what specific powers the ward possesses. So and... one of your forms knows one spell. Yeah. Cool. That's it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Excelente. This is so wild. Well, I just finished up my contacts um, or my, my talents, and they are journalism, trivia, geology, and wrestling. Oh, amazing. Um, wow. So I'm, I'm going to have to I'm going to work out what those add up to. <laughs> Uh, Geology is the, like, <laughs> the rock. The <laughs> rock. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm the rock tumbler. Yeah. Uh, first, no. I, first I tumbled the rock, and now I'm coming for you. Uh huh. Man, I have so much health. I didn't even work that out. It's just face. I, it's just your the total of your phase numbers. Your numbers. Yeah. I'm still figuring out my unique. <laughs> the total of your for... rank numbers. Yeah, your your actual rank numbers. Okay. Uh, are your health and your rank. In rip is uh, your starting karma. Yeah. Oh my god, I have so much health. I have three hundred and eighteen health. Okay, I don't think I have that much. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, hundred. I have element. two unearthlies and a shift X in my phase. Yeah. Uh, okay, Kiro can create pure elements from virtually nothing. Create any desired element in any shape. Or at any location within one area. That, that's wild. Hmm. In a single turn, create a number of ounces equal to his power rank number, which is 46. 46 ounces. Uh, which is amazing. 46 ounces I can create of any element in, in an area. Yeah, that's one of those powers where you get it and you just retire. Per turn. Like, why would I get in a fight? I can make gallium. It's really valuable. Yeah, seriously. You can sit here and make like uh, rare metals that are that are super expensive and just sell them. Why, yeah, but do they last forever? Be a, be a hero and not even sell them. Just they don't go even around need to and last forever. You could sell them to scientists and be like, "Hey, you want to study this tritium for a while?" Yeah, it is. It is a half life of a couple of months anyway. That's amazing. What? All right, I got to remember how you calculate things like popularity. Oh, the durability of the newly created matter is determined at the time of creation. A green feat. Well, uh, capital feet does it mean anything that's the roll on the table okay gives the element a lifespan of a hundred turns so whatever your rank is roll on that table and if you manage to get green or better then it does one of those okay so if, if that would have the lifespan of 100 terms times the hero's reason rank number yellow is 10,000 turns times the reason rank number and red means it's permanent. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, like, you could synthesize a bunch of gold that only lasts for, like, a few hundred turns. Okay. And, and, and then it would just disappear? Yeah. Yeah. That, okay. Or if it's, because uh, it's just... That way you can sell it, screw someone over, and it doesn't affect the economy because it's gone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you can't just go and say, hey, here's a bunch of building material. I mean, unless you got a red feet and it's permanent. I mean, true. There we go. But that would be sad if you if you if you forgot which ones were which. Okay, don't touch that pile. No, I'm serious. <laughs> two 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 years from now, you're going to be very sad if you touch that pile. Okay, so I have start with typical resources. I rolled an 86 on the ability modifier table, which increases it by three ranks. Uh, that moves it from <laughs> typical to what? One, two, three. Remarkable. I have remarkable resources. 60,000 turns is about four days of time. Good. <laughs> Great. That's the kind of stuff you expect from 80s TSR right there. <laughs> Game terms being translated into how many days. Uh-huh. Weirdly, while being a mutant or a robot would set my popularity super low, everyone's fine with undead guys wandering around. Yeah, no one cares. Yeah. You might as well. How do you... Where's... Where... Where where resources? What? Okay, I'll just do this one because it's in a weird page in a weird part of the book. Uh, okay. Did you take another uh, power and go down in resources? I did. Yes. Okay. okay. So that drops you by one. So you start from instead of starting from typical, you start from one below typical. Yeah. Which is poor resources. Poor resources. Now roll roll percentile. Uh oh, a hundred. Great. Oh, Increase wow. it by four ranks or typical, good, excellent, remarkable. Go to remarkable. You have remarkable resources. Okay, Ooh. can I just write that down? Just write down Remarkable and that rank number for Remarkable, which is 26. Okay. It's super cool that they have a spot for this on the character sheet. I gave my abnormal chemistry form elemental creation. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. metamorpho, cool. Yeah. I never never metamorpho okay, I didn't they... like. <laughs> <laughs> and then just put your popularity at 10 unless your character creation stuff told you not to earlier. Oh, I went up. 2CS. Yeah. Yours goes up 2CS, but um, most other people, are. it's not going to move around. Yeah. I think it might for an undead. I'll have to look again. Ooh, if I want to change my resources, there's a bank loans option. Thanks, Marvel superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, look at that. I actually already had a weakness. It came right with this. It's still psychological, so I don't have to re-roll for anything. But it's just that my uh, powers get negated if I'm within 10 feet of a religious symbol. There you go. Ooh. That's really oh. bad. Hey, yeah. The religious symbols are wildly common. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> and it's just any religious symbol. So, like, if, like, the moon is in a crescent form, I'm like, well, no. Well, you're not 10 feet from the moon. I'm not 10 moon. feet from the moon, yeah. <laughs> you say that now, but what if we have to go to Adeline? Then that sucks for you. Well, but it won't be in crescent form because it it'll just be the be moon. On the moon, yeah. Also, I worship the moon. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I need to just see what this one is quick, and then I might be okay having my my unique ones and my all around ones for my powers. So now when you're building your character, uh, I want you all to remember that this is technically a Sentai Halloween game. We're going to be playing. Mm -hmm. So your character should be able to squeeze into a Sentai suit and you should be picking your characters name by stuff like color ranger, as opposed to calling them a cool superhero name. Okay. Okay. But you can also have a cool superhero name if you want. I'm not going to stop you. But you should figure out what color Halloween Ranger you are. Zordon. Yeah, you can. You're gonna want. You want to just run the game since you clearly made Zordon. <laughs> Oops, I Zordon. <laughs> Oops, all Zordon. <laughs> For example, since I have clearly made a Frankenstein, I'm I'm gonna say he's the Green Ranger. Obviously, because right you know, for sure. Yeah. Oh, man. If there's one thing I wish, it's that we hadn't already done Sentinels with you guys, because that would make this whole thing so much easier. (laughs) We could just translate this into that. We could, yeah. For the AP, we could totally run this in Sentinels And just, like, actually play Sentinels. Like, we made them in Marvel superheroes, then we moved them to a a, a playable game. Right. To make the AP. Lol. I would be fine with that. Um, Uh, We still learned a lot about Marvel superheroes today. We did. I'm... I'm not sure what I'm doing. <laughs> 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 like the first time. Did you do your popul- your uh, your resources roll yet? I'm still figuring out what my fifth form, my cyborg artificial yeah, limbs and organs. Uh, You're making power, five characters. Unique power is. Um, <laughs> I was thinking maybe hyper intelligence because that would be easier than modifying the uh, the R stat on all of my character uh, forms. Maybe. All right. I'm going to put uh, warding my magic spell as the uh, the unique power of my cyborg artificial limbs and organs character. Oh, cool. Form. I like that. Like, let's say that your character had like two arms grafted on, but they're from a wizard. Yeah. You have like robot wizard arms. So they can <laughs> <cast a> spell. <laughs> and you don't even know how they're doing that. You're like, I don't know. They just do that. They just, they just ward <laughs> things. I don't know. All right. Pretty good at it. I'm struggling yeah. to think of like what color goes with my. Well, pick a Halloween monster. That's that's the way to do it. Well, like I mean, I've got like spider powers. Oh well, then maybe go for black and red. We well, can't be the black and red ranger. Like that doesn't work. It's Halloween. You can do whatever. I, when I initially planned for this, it was going to be in Sentinels, and I was going to play as the pumpkin ranger, and his helmet was going to be. Vaguely I mean, you could be shaped. Spider Ranger. Yeah, yeah I mean, obviously that's probably right like well. the better option here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna be the Spider Ranger. I'm. I, I I'll probably be the uh, the question mark Ranger. I guess. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go for it. You are a uh, costume You're a ghost. ranger. You're a white ranger. Yes, You're the ghost. costume ranger. Because you have different the costumes. Ghost. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the costume ranger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're that Amazing. part of Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Each one of my forms is a different Halloween costume. Yeah, right. that's why it I like that. rounds because you got to like that a lot. So rather than the Sentai's being divided up by color, they're divided up by aspects of Halloween. Yes. Yeah, like Halloween tropes. Oh, I like that. Mm-hmm. So, John, what are you then? Man, I don't even know. Zordon. <laughs> Zordon. Zordon. I'm the Zordon Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're the parents at home Ranger. You send people out to trick or treat. Your base camp ranger. It's good, like it was like answers the door ranger. Yeah, sweatpants <laughs> ranger. Doorbell oh, the ranger. Sweatpants <laughs> ranger. That's what I am in real life. <laughs> Dude, you should get a shirt that says sweatpants ranger. I am gonna make that for you. <laughs> oh, amazing. So uh, one thing I need to figure out right now, since I've got hyper intelligence for all of my forms, that raises my uh, my R stat equal to the number of ranks that I rolled, but I rolled poor. Okay, I think. well, poor is X from the bottom, so you just count that. I think it's two. Poor is above feeble, so you raise your uh, 
you raise your intelligence by two ranks or reason by two ranks. Right. Oh, okay. So Across if all my forms. reason is excellent, then it goes up to, good Lord. Incredible. Mm-hmm. Incredible. Oh, that's yeah. not bad. Good Lord. All right. I think I will choose to be the trick ranger uh, because my character is all kinds of undead spooky stuff and not a whole lot of the good aspects of Halloween. <laughs> Great. I can be the treat ranger. Exactly. Trick and treat rangers. Perfect. I can teleport others up to 50 tons. That's not a unit of distance. How are you going to teleport someone 50 tons away? Well, I can teleport 50 tons worth of things up to, I guess, 20 areas? <laughs> or within 20 areas up to 220 miles away. Oh, okay, there you go. So I can just be like, you get, get out of here, 220 miles. <laughs> Rich neighborhood, go. Amazing. I'm putting you in a better city. I'm putting you in the ocean. You killed a robot dog. <laughs> you go. Ocean. <laughs> Interesting. So my lowest intelligence, or my lowest R, uh, I don't R. even remember what R stands for. Reason. Uh, reason. 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 So my lowest reason is excellent now. Yeah. You're hyper intelligent. Um, and my, my form, my abnormal chemistry, which was on table two, was my highest roll of 98. And that was only excellent to start, and then it moved up to incredible. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can get monstrous. Nope. <laughs> well, table nope. two sucks. Table yeah, two? T- table two is real bad. <laughs> it's, it regular, is so bad. it's the regular human table. <laughs> uh, I'm just some guy. It is really bad. All right. I'll, I'll figure out the ranks later um, for all of my stats, uh, for all of my forms. Yeah, that's probably for the best. We probably should yeah. take like a, a lunch break and figure out what these are and how they work. Yeah. Um, so it looks like all of my forms have body resistance, hyper intelligence, body armor, skywalk, and martial supremacy. And then my ethereal form has molding. Mm-hmm. My human robot form has weapons tinkering. My artificial limbs and organs cyborg form has warding. My abnormal chemistry form has elemental creation, and my cyborg exoskeleton form has fire generation. Okay, that's... So, I'm assuming flamethrowers or something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Little little flame jets or plasma torches or something. Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so now I got my powers figured out, finally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to sit back. <laughs> this is somehow worse than Heroes Unlimited. Well, it's like creating five Heroes Unlimited characters. <laughs> you could have just not. I could you have. every opportunity to just not. You know what? I can't just not. Okay, well, you're the one that has to edit this, so. I mean, that's super fair. <laughs> All right, so what am I doing next? Because now I'm stuck on powers, and I don't know where I'm looking next. Uh, go to page oh. 10 of the player's book. Oh, I got to go all the way back there, huh? Yeah, you're going to a whole different book because this book is just a big list of powers and not a big list of uh, character, creation. character creation. Anything helpful. Oh, <laughs> that makes more sense now. Okay, so now I'm on the talent category. Now I can roll for my talents. Is everybody done with this part? I wasn't oh, paying yeah. attention. We're all done with like, everything. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. welcome, to, welcome to Ryan Finishes His Character section of the show. Um, okay, so I got nine. So my, my talent... Is weapon skills and I get how many talents four. did they say? You have four. I get you have four the same talents? number I do. Okay, so you have so four what? talents to roll here. So now the next roll is just a d10. Oh lord. Okay. Zero. A ten. Okay. Um. Oh, that's not great. Um. The literal uh, definition in the book is oriental weapons. Um, yeah. Nice. Well, in the eighties, that flew. Yeah. All right. Um. Now, why it says marksman, weapons master, and weapons specialist are starred, but there's no numbers by them. Uh, those are count as two talents. Right. But you can't yeah. roll them? Uh, I think you can. I mean, let me go to the page you're on. Page 10. It's weird. But you rolled. Okay, hang on. Let me, let me just make sure I got this right. I mean, we're not. Oh, oh no. Oh, I see what's happening. You choose one of those four. But the ones that are that have the uh, asterisks by them count as two talents. Count as two, I think. Oh, so since I rolled a ten, I can get any of those. Three. Yes, you don't get them all. You get you choose one. Okay. Now I need to figure out what those mean. I guess right. Nah. No. <laughs> just the, pick one. The book isn't going to tell you. I mean, you just you're just gonna. I think it might. 
<laughs> I don't remember. It's been a while. This is so bad. Look, what am I, some kind of expert on this? That's what I'm here for, right? I hope not, because it's been like six months since I read this book. It's fine. I don't remember where I was yesterday. I, Mark, like half of, like all of these don't really make sense for my character, but that's fine. I, the thing that's killing me is I've, it doesn't say that the asterisk means it's two powers anywhere. I don't know what that means. <laughs> And honestly, it's not like you're going to be spending a lot of time using marksman weapons. So just right. write down the write down the one that's free, but change it to let's change that to Asian. And even then, that still feels bad. Yeah, because why would you be able to lose every kind of Asian weapon? That's a massive diaspora of a lot of different cultures. Yeah, but I have sharp weapons, <laughs> so that's basically <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Uh, but in right. the interest of brevity, we should just do another one. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it. I'll just roll again. But uh, at the very least, it points out some of the problematic stuff that's within the system. Yeah. Uh, 14, another weapon skills. Cool. Seven this time. So blunt weapons. Yeah, that's the opposite of sharp weapons. <laughs> Together, that's you fine. two cover the gambit. And then you got three more of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, where did my other go? Here we go. 73 that's different uh scientific skills that's neat biology so apparently my character knows about biology that's good because i don't know much about biology <laughs> i don't know much about the french i took i don't know much about a science book <laughs> but i do know that i love you <laughs> uh fighting skills I'm like I'm, I'm getting weapons and fighting, and my character's not really based around that with my powers. Hey. So, hey, these talents this are most weird. It's almost like you're randomly determining. Yeah, things. They, they represent <laughs> hobbies your character has. So, oh, I got acrobatics. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, that'll be fun in my. That'll be fun in my ethereal form. Acrobatics. Uh, just a ghost doing some backflips. Yeah. More like a and, floor exercise, and a floor routine. Do, doing a, doing some backflips and mm -hmm. uh, and making making some clay. Uh, forms and stuff. All right, uh, sixty nine, nice. Um, got nice science That's skills again. <laughs> I said science again. <laughs> uh, apparently, my character's really big into uh science. This one is geology. Hey, I'm a geologist too. Hey, a couple of rockers over here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my character rocks, or at least knows. See what now rocks. that skill suddenly turned useful. It's how I met the other the other one. Oh, oh, there you go. go. Yeah. We met in geology class. Geology class. Geology class with this human robot. Oh, yeah. Also, all your characters should be high school students, even if it's crazy. Like if you're a robot spider or a god or something. Everyone's <laughs> like, uh, that's just Sentai oh, yeah. rules. That's very Makes true. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm very happy about this. Um, okay. So I've got my four to four possible talents. Uh, two of them are combat oriented and two of them are science oriented. Uh, that's right, fine. Great. Now, you didn't buy yourself any extra powers, because why would you have? So yeah. instead, there's a chart a few pages up on, I think, page six. Um, yes, it's on page six. It's called the Ability Modifier Table. It's pretty much in the dead center of the page, right yep. under a really bad picture of Rogue. That's Rogue? Yep. Oh, Lord. Okay. Um, I can kind of see it. You're going to roll once on that table. All right. I'll just see what happens. Yep. Uh, 12 reduced by one rank. So instead of having typical resources, you have poor resources. So you're going to put down resources, poor three. Ah, uh, samesies. Out of all of us, you two are the broke high school students. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm a deity. I don't need money. I'm and so yet broke sucks because you don't have any. <laughs> all all yet, my money goes care. towards my forms. <laughs> all my money goes towards all these candies that I keep giving people. <laughs> I, I got to split my money five ways. Like, I appreciate that you don't have any money, but I have a jumbo jack. It's why I'm I've got super high popularity. It's because I'm poor resources because I keep buying candy and giving it to people. <laughs> All right. So now I've got uh, now I've got my resources. So what's next? I saw uh, there was something about secondary abilities. So there's contacts is pretty much the last thing. But that is there's no roles for it. You're just going to pick like four because you'll have four people you know in the world that can help you in some way. Mostly just write down what industry they're in. And then other than that, um, there was one more thing. We have to work out your health and your karma. Okay. 
So to do those, uh, you will add your face together and add your rip together. The initial rank numbers from, add from your each face one together. Each category. Oh, sweet lord! That's now different you're, you're for all of my that, that means you have five different health bars, and that's just part of the fun. <laughs> part of <laughs> okay. It. Um. Now I gotta figure out what my rank is. I gotta is. imagine you only have one karma. I, I I assume so, because otherwise it would fluctuate. You probably pick whichever one gives you the best karma and use that. Sure. But uh, other than that, boy, oh boy, I think we should all just be quiet for a while, because that's a lot of rolls. <laughs> oh, or no. Math. I have to do a bunch of rolls now? Well, no, you don't have to do any rolls math. at all. You have to just do math. Oh, that's a bunch of math. Okay. Um. So those are... Okay, let me... Let me do that. Back to the ultimate powers book, everybody. Okay, here we go. I wish this was like not a three column per page uh, layout. Because <laughs> they do not put the initial rank number on the on the second half of the table. So like tables three through five, you have to go back to the first batch of numbers for tables one and two to figure out your rank number. It's not that bad because you still know you're like remarkable. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, okay. But I mean, ultimately, wishing that it wasn't a, a three column, 10 point crap font format is like saying, I wish TSR didn't make books. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's so inaccessible, it feels like. Huh. Good old Weird. days of having to read the old versions of Boot Hill and Gamma World and stuff like that. Oh, this one hurts my brain. Um, I was I was excited before we started. I'm I'm still half excited, but <laughs> <laughs> we gave you all the warnings. I know. <laughs> Reroll that. Don't, I, I, we told you. Don't be a changeling. Don't, don't be a changeling. <laughs> Could I just go one down? What would, be, what, what would that have been? Uh, compound. You'd still end up rolling a lot of stuff, but at least you'd mush them all together into one thing. Oh, that wild. was one of my friend's first characters. Rolled a ninety nine and made like a half computer, half satyr. Oh, fun. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that sounds amazing. <laughs> All right, uh, so let me let me uh, dig dig in here. Oh, the Seder processing unit. Good. The, the, ultimately, the problem with those really high number values you roll is that uh, they sound they're really fun to make in character creation, and then when you actually get to gameplay, you're like, Bleh. <laughs> <laughs> my character's a half immobile computer on goat legs, and I. I guess we're all going to meet in this building and talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a CPU on top of a goat, and uh, I guess the goat carries me into combat. Let's do a, let's do a subplot. Uh, I think I might sit the subplots out, guys. I'm a computer on a goat. Perfect. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'm a computer on a goat. Can I go home? <laughs> <laughs> you have head pigeons. Go home. Amazing. Oh, this hurts so much. A remarkable um, is 26. So uh, what I'm feeling is this is not a game for people that don't like math. <laughs> they didn't make those games in the 80s. Yeah. If you were <laughs> playing an RPG in the 80s, it's because you were a big math nerd. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't feel like there was that much math. Well, you're not a changeling. <laughs> also, we haven't started playing yet. That's, uh, that's true. fair. <laughs> I'm, thank I'm thankful that we're not going to be using these rules in the actual like. Oh, we, yeah. is that decided? Are we going to? Oh, gonna no, we definitely are. Convert these. <laughs> convert. No, John will. John's going to. Everyone can use whatever role playing game you want. for Everyone, the actual... different RPG for each character. <laughs> yeah. We'll see Perfect. what Stormer does with that. Yeah. I'll Fine. play over here, here in masks and then you guys can play. I'm going to translate my character to Heroes Unlimited. Right. I made you a poop. I hope you like it. Let's <laughs> just send a video to Stormer and he's going to turn it on. It'll be the like four of us screaming in, in Latin and clawing at our eyes. We cannot take two to me, X and Ferris. God bless. It's the, it's the event horizon of APs. <laughs> <laughs> opens with a text scrawl that's like this footage was discovered on the moon <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's the reign of uh of rpgs the crews of system mastery and character creation cast were never found <laughs> oh lord neat <sighs> okay um i uh for my cyborg form 37 that's good huh. <laughs> Eight. Eight. 
Huzzah! <laughs> Points. Uh, P, uh, Psyche is right. Yep, yep. Right in the middle for that. So that's, uh, that's an excellent. I don't know what's happening right now. Oh, I see what's happening. This is you finally going through and writing down the rank results for your... So I can figure out my health for all my forms, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, healthy, healthy. I feel like if the up. rest of us want to like take a break while Ryan does this, we can. Yeah, this is all going to get cut out, right? I'm going to play my plasma torch. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how. We'll see how I feel when I get to editing. Meow. Uh, well, when you cut it down, it's fine. Hmm. Uh, so you so you you add all the face together and you add all the rip together and that's your health and then your karma, right? Yep. Yeah. You should probably just have one karma. Pick just figure out what your highest the, karma is. The best karma, but you need a different set of health for all five forms. Okay. Because <laughs> your experience can't vary and vary between your five forms. That wouldn't make any sense. I still have to figure out my karma for all my five forms. And no, just figure it out for one. Of, well, like, well, yeah, figure them out. Because I, do, I don't know what's the best one until I figured them out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so... Uh, 144 health for my for my ethereal form. Yeah, you'll you'll end up having way way more health than me, but <laughs> true invulnerability is insane. Yeah, I have amazing true invulnerability, which reduces the I'm immune to any physical harm up to the limit of the rank, which means it, unless an attack is coming in at higher than amazing from any of the following: fire, heat, cold, electricity, radiation, corrosive, disease, poison, brute force, sonic, kinetic, or bolts. It reduces all of those attacks by, by an amazing rank before anything happens. Sweet. Yeah, that's he's very good at just standing there. Yeah, man. Table two is horrible. Yes, it is. I rolled a 94 and I, I'm still just good. <laughs> what? OK, what happens? Uh, I rolled a number that's not on the table. <laughs> what are you talking about? 26 through 75. Typical. 78 through 95 good yeah what happened to 76 and 77 <laughs> <laughs> well let me tell you this 76 8 79 <laughs> <laughs> uh put down goodical yeah uh, i'm just gonna say good, good because this game has yeah. uh destroyed my psyche and <laughs> just, and just want to be done yeah and yep uh huh. That's amazing. Uh -huh. I did not ever notice that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Incredible. What does that translate to? Incredible. Uh, uh, 36. Oh, well, my health and my abnormal chemistry form is nasty bad. It, five plus eight plus eight plus three. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's pretty much your regular human form. But you have a little abnormal chemistry in you, which is probably the nanites that turn into the robots of all your other forms. Yeah. So 24, and then my karma in that form is... So far, I've had the same karma in two of my forms. My robot and my cyborg form. Both 70. No, I think that's a great, I think that's a great way to build him, to say that, you, that when he's in his altered chemistry form, he's got, like, nanites in him that are making him weak and feeble. Mm -hmm. but, but when he lets them take over, like, it turns him into, them into a robot. Oh, that would be fun. So that is that is, the abnormal chemistry form is my like normal human. But it's it's abnormal because I'm a normal human at that point. It's weird. Yeah, it's abnormal because you've got all these nanites or whatever in your bloodstream. They're like yeah. trying to robot you, and you're like, no, I don't want a robot. But then something bad happens, and you have to robot. <laughs> and if it's your first night at Robot Club, <laughs> don't talk about Robot Club. You have to robot. <laughs> you have to robot. This is wild. My my ranks for the the for the face rip for my abnormal chemistry five eight eight three thirty six three five. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, forty four karma in that form. If I chose, all right, I'm almost there. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. We're all good. Everything's fine. I got a bagel. Nice. There's so many bagels here. I had too much monster, and it's fine. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to organize the apps on my phone. <laughs> it's really stressing me. I got a new phone yesterday, and, like, everything's a mess, and it's terrible. Oh, no. It's awful. I think I've been calculating something wrong on one of these. Okay. Oh, my God, Ryan. That's it. I'm done. <laughs> nope. <laughs> uh, no, I'll fix it. It's easy. 
It's easy enough to fix. We should all just make second characters. Yeah. We'll be <laughs> Let's all make five <laughs> characters. Yeah. Let's go back. <laughs> We're all changelings with all five forms. <laughs> We're all the wor- the <laughs> ourselves a Sentai group each. <laughs> <laughs> each one of those forms of Voltron, and then that Voltron forms a each, Voltron. Each form is just everybody else's base form. So then you can just rotate the same character. <laughs> I think each group should have a different theme, though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, this makes more sense now. Um, Markable. Markable? Dallas. I was adding up the numbers I had rolled for each of those stats. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that. No. So that, that made things a little weird. Yeah, I'm just cruising Twitter. What's up? Well, that really destroyed half of the stuff that I had. I thought I had 144 health in my ethereal form, but it's it actually turns out to be uh, 26. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's enough to survive a punch from from a weak guy. Yeah. If some regular guy comes up and punches you, you'll be like, hey, Al. Hey, dang it. (laughs) If I came up and punched you, I would have knocked you out four times. But I'm ethereal uh, and incorporeal in uh, in Earth environment. Oh, good. I'll take you to the moon. Still, that's still. I mean, it's the Earth dimension. So you'd have to take me to the alternate dimension. The moon, moon dimension. <laughs> the moon dimension. I'm sure that's a thing. Where Doctor Magnet hands plots and waits. I'm almost there. Thank you for bearing with me. Oh yeah. No, we quit. <laughs> okay, we're, we're halfway out of our chairs we're going to islands <laughs> 45 translates into another excellent that's nice which is only 16 64 turns into ooh, remarkable remarkable is 26 what's my rank for excellent 16 again uh, okay oh no actually it's not excellent that goes to remarkable as well my exoskeleton cyborg uh, is even better than I thought. Nice. I, uh, what is that one? 29. Good. Good. Most good, New Lena. 40. What does 40 translate to? That is also good. That's annoying. Okay. I've got my healths and karmas, I think. Cool. Now I pick think one I did karma right. and use that one. All right, so my best karma is 70 on my cyborg with artificial limbs and organs that can cast the warding spell. Great, that's your karma then. All right, and then my health range from 26 to 71 to 106, 24 to 63. Okay. Oh, that 24? That 24, (laughs) you just don't want to be in that form unless you're like safe at home. Yeah. My yeah, ethereal form is 26 is slightly better, but like, you at know, least at least I... forms are immune to almost every kind of attack anyway. Exactly. So your health doesn't matter unless you run into like an energy vampire. Yeah. If someone psychically attacks you, I guess. Yeah. If you're fighting the Shadow King. Then I just uh, f- go away for 10 rounds and come back as something else. Yeah, definitely don't fight the Shadow King or uh, I don't know who else is a mind affecting bad guy. So my my uh, Setai transformation sequence is literally like going into a box of costumes and put, yeah. putting something on. It takes for 10, 10 rounds 10 because rounds. you're doing the full transformation where yep. you are spinning around and dancing and everyone's like, just put the costume on. Yeah, I think <laughs> no, I think you should already be dressed up like a generic Halloween Power Ranger, you know, like yeah. a little go. Like basically a white ranger suit with like a little like ghost shape to the helmet where it's got the the jagged bottom like a Pac-Man ghost. Oh, yeah. The ring of the helmet just so you're ghosty. But then you dive into a costume box and come out with costume parts over the Power <laughs> Ranger outfit. <laughs> Fake mustache glued to that visor thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am the ghost ranger. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, no. The costume ranger. Costumes. Costume ranger. OK. I like the idea that my dude just wanders around school with like a bag of candy. <laughs> Halloween, my friends. Anyone who comes up is like, hey, man, you hold. And he's like, obviously, here you go. A Charleston chew. <laughs> now, I do require to hear the words. Ah, uh, what do you say? <laughs> Trick or treat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yes. Uh, bene. <laughs> Molto bene. <laughs> 
The yeah, god of, of Halloween is Italian. Oh, <laughs> <obviously>. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so I've got my costume ranger. I've got my five forms. I've got my health and karma. I've got uh, theoretically contacts uh, or co- four contacts that I, I'm not going to define now because it's, it's, it's I, just I, us. It's fine. <laughs> I'm tired. It'll be okay. I mean, none of us defined any contacts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I didn't uh, get any. <laughs> so what's next? Is that uh, it? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's it. I mean, we could go through the whole process of gear assembly and so on, but I mean, raise your hand if you care. Yeah, if you, if you want to go through the like fifty pages of, you know, making a dinette set or <laughs> getting a television or a radio in your rumpus room. So the way that works is we first create a team and then we pool <laughs> our resources and then we go through and purchase a house uh, that has an initial cost, which involves rolling to see if you lose money on the cost, a uh, cost spending or if you don't. So you might be able to get like a two bedroom apartment without losing any money. OK, um, Sweet. then you go through and eat to find what each room in the house is and spend a variable amount of money on each room to do things like. Uh, if you spend a good amount of money on a living room, it will have two couch or a couch, two easy chairs, two lamps, your choice of ceiling, floor or wall and uh, a record player. But if you spend an incredible amount of money, you can have a piano and a television and a hi fi stereo system in there. Oh, wow. I want to get the living room package. The cost is good. <laughs> and it gives me a sofa, two easy chairs, two end tables, coffee tables, two lamps, ceiling table, or floor. Mm-hmm. Are these the, are these 1980s uh, dollars that they're working with? In the yeah, is this like Reaganomics? Or well, the no? game doesn't actually use money. It's resource, your rank. It's your rank and resources. And oh. it, it's a, a system where you can roll. And if you roll poorly, you can accomplish the thing you were purchasing, but lose some of your rank and resources. Yeah, so if I want to get the living room package, the cost is good. And if I've got remarkable resources, I'm going to roll on the remarkable column in the feet table. Mm -hmm. And then if I (laughs) fail, then my resources will go down because I spent too much on my living room package. Yes. (laughs) And And when you're done with all that, you'll have a small house that the heroes get to live in with no mechanical uh, (laughs) tools to it at all. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I could get a laboratory package it doesn't give me anything mm-hmm. you'll just know that you have a laundry room you're like ooh, i that's, got that's a poison fine, analysis yeah. and one area. of 16 kinds of boat when we get to the fan fiction section though we are going to discuss what pattern we went with on our china yes of course <laughs> absolutely <Okay. laughs> halloween i think is what we're going to go yeah. with it's yeah. Yeah. fantastic uh it's going to be old halloween or, or mcdonald's halloween cookware from the 70s Okay, so like lots of orange, lots of bright purple, lime green. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. I'm it's sad that decor. none of us are a witch. <laughs> I can cast one spell. Nice. That's a witch costume. Close That's a enough. Witch co- <laughs> That's a witch costume. My my cyborg uh, witch. <laughs> and yes. now we yeah. At this point, outside of all that that development and buying up of a of a base, which is the weirdest thing. Um, That's it. it. I, I we come up with names. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So, uh, superhero name, costume ranger. Obviously. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but now we need like a, like a normal person name, right? That's correct. Cause we're all, we're all high school students. Well, uh, I'm a robot could, though. You're, you're high you're school a robot, robot student. student. High school yeah. robot. So my, my name is SP1D3R. Okay. Because I'm spider, spider. ranger. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pretty good. Um, but do you look like a spider robot? John thought of something stupid. Well, yeah. wait, what else would I look like? I guess. Yeah, you look like a spider robot. I mean, that's yeah. perfectly fine. You just attend school and look like... Is, maybe you but is it, like a, is it like, a, like a big spider or is it like a spider centaur with like a humanoid top and then a spider bottom? Well, for no, the like, record, I don't, spider like, centaur I don't is one of the things you can get on the, on the table. Like a human at all. I just look like a big spider. Okay, like yeah. uh, like a three foot tall spider with uh, with the, the yeah, metal like legs. Yeah, like big metal spider legs. Mm-hmm. I love that oh, no yeah. one puts together that you are the sp- <laughs> the spider ranger as well. <laughs> right. Well, right. because you just because you the just spider crams itself into a regular human shaped senti suit. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, it does say somewhere in the um, in the rules that like people just don't pay attention to you because you're not person enough for people to care. Yeah. yeah. 
Wow. Yeah, but once you once you cram yourself into a Sentai suit, so you're you're got like two pairs of legs operating each arm and leg of the Sentai suit. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's so it's the Star Wars uh droid, basically. Yeah. Where nobody yeah. cares about the droids. Right. Yeah. I would like I would I would have assumed that like the high school robot club built you and then you got accidentally sentient. And then you were like, well, yeah. I'm in high school. So you I got s- accidentally sentient. And then, well, I'm stuck in a high school. I might as well matriculate. Well, but through chemical exposure. Well, apparently, though, my origin was a chemical exposure. So, yeah. so you're probably a high school student that got chemically transposed into, into a spider a robot. robot. Yeah, yeah okay. they built a spider yeah. robot and then you got chemically blasted your mind into the spider robot. Right. I was next yeah. door in the chemistry lab. Yeah. And then you it was a, a regular horrible accident. spider robot. <laughs> And someone was supposed to put robot fuel in you, but instead they accidentally chemically blasted you with the rich flavors of Mountain Dew Code Red. <laughs> that's what it was, probably. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. probably it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I am the wow. tree ranger. The tree and ranger. my name, of course, and walking around as one of you normal humans mm-hmm. is Godfrey Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> uh, They'll never guess. They'll never know. That I'm the god of Halloween. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> and uh, my character will be the Trick Ranger. And uh, he's, a walk- he's a full-grown adult Frankenstein in high school. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Because the, Obviously the, with a Letterman jacket. Yeah, the thing I rolled was that the character was supposed to have been fully formed in his adult body. And mm-hmm. I'm keeping that. It's just that he was created two years ago, so he's a sophomore in high school. Okay. He got to skip the other grades. Yeah. Um, and his name is Roger Mortis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Checks out. Fairly straightforward. And yeah, he has a Letterman jacket on because uh, he's on the wrestling team. It's amazing how few people get to wrestle him because his weight class is that he weighs like 400 pounds. But he he does, you know, other teams also or other schools also have super kids. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> instead of being on any sports, even though I would win immediately at all of them, mm-hmm. I just work the concession stand <laughs> during sporting. <laughs> I'm going to get fired, though, because I keep giving out stuff for free. (laughs) The other problem with the high school wrestling team at our school is that every other member is just zombies I've created. (laughs) So it's pretty much just me on the wrestling team and then some zombies. Yeah, but we're undefeated. (laughs) Yeah. We're undead and we're undefeated. Uh Uh-huh. And that's our motto. (laughs) Undead feated. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, my undead feet. No, we said defeated. Yes, defeated. undead feet of fire. Brian, what was your... Your name? Okay, so my, my alias is the Costume Ranger. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I'm trying to find a good um, good last name. But I'm going to go for my first name as Chase with a C. So C-H-A-C-E. Or okay. Cyborg Humanoid Robot um, a- <laughs> Abnormal Chemistry uh, Cyborg uh, Ethereal. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. So uh, all capital letters. Uh, not last an name of Elgus. Last name Manhattan. Just Chase Manhattan. Chase Manhattan. It's a bank. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, fine. Meridian. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Amalgus. That's fine. I like Amalgus. It's it's very comic booky. Oh, like Chase Meridian isn't. He's a Batman <laughs> character. Although I think she was only in that movie. Uh, this is, excuse me, this is Marvel. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. That's why it's okay to use it. We don't recognize the distinguished competition. The only There's thing no. I had filled out on my sheet is our base of operations, which I feel like obviously is like the high school, right? Yeah, cool. well, yeah definitely. It's, it's the gym I mean, for the wrestling area because it's just you anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, the, assumedly, uh, we could be all members of a club in the school and that clubhouse could be the, the, the base of operations. We're part of Halloween club. Yeah, it's the science labs. Don't we all have like the some ho- kind of science Halloween, talent? The amazingly oh, Halloween yeah. specific glee club. No, yeah. we're just the Halloween club. <laughs> you Halloween. go down we, and you're like, Halloween. Oh, we're glee club. We're wrestling club. We're like we're Halloween club. We're Halloween club. <laughs> Halloween I really club. wanted each of Ryan's personas to be holiday related. So that like the rest, you know, it's like, then you have like the Easter Rangers too. Well, he's got three robots. Maybe they could be the three robots of Christmas, past, present, and future. Yes. <laughs> I saw three robots come sailing in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Uh, well, one of them is a person in a, in a robot suit. Mm-hmm. One of them is a person with partial robots parts. And one mm-hmm. of them is a full-on robot. Yeah. 
Yeah, just varying degrees of robot. And then one person's just a, a person with a different chemistry, and one person's a ghost. Yeah. You, you know. know, all the all the different forms Your of standard hero. Yeah. Makes oh, the most possible it's, sense. It's almost like a it's almost like a spectrum of person. Like a rainbow. Yeah. Like a rainbow. It's exactly yeah. like one of those one of those old pictures of evolution in motion, except that it's a person starting as a gas and getting increasingly robot. <laughs> See, I thought yeah. it was gonna be starting as a human, turning more increasingly robot until they <laughs> die and are a ghost. Well, maybe <laughs> if you decide to define that the ethereal form was just a cloud of nanobots. Yeah, uh, it, then, it really has to be it has to go from ethereal to abnormal chemistry to exoskeleton to artificial limbs, to full robot. Yeah. <laughs> if that's the way you want to do it, that's I would do it. That's the progression. And right. I'm changing my name to Chase Spectrum. Oh, yeah, it's good. I would do it. Altered chemistry, artificial <laughs> limbs, exoskeleton, robot form, ethereal. And say that the way it worked was you got inf infected with a nanovirus where you've got a bunch of nanotech in you. Mm. And it makes you increasingly robot until there's so little human left that you just dissolve into a cloud of nanobots. I mean, that works, too. But that said, I'm not I'm not making your character. I'm not here to tell you what to do. No, it's fine. Uh, I'm good with suggestions because this is bonkers. <laughs> this is so bananas. Too much stuff. <laughs> it's like my brain broke like three character types before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I finally know how Amelia feels with Heroes Unlimited. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah at some point, you just like stop listening. Just <laughs> like what is going, dude? That ain't even doing everything. Right? Exactly as comfortable as we are discussing every other game. Well, yep, yep. <laughs> Cannot be stopped. All right. Um, and I just just for prosperity, what are our combined resources like? What sort of like uh, hero pad would we have? Because well, we, we have, have two pores. We have a clubhouse that's <laughs> clearly... we got a couple pores here. Yeah, <laughs> we got a, it's a couple of them pores. <laughs> I think the other we both ended up with the same resources as well. It's two remarkables and two pores. Two remarkable, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's not too bad. Well, it's, it's the Breakfast Club. <laughs> <laughs> we are the Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got a weirdo and a criminal, uh -huh. and then a princess and a jock. And the brain is not part of this. Yeah, nope. the brain. <laughs> someone's eating saltine sandwiches, and someone's eating whatever the rich people ate in that. Sushi. Sushi. I haven't watched it since I or was Or a, a giant kid. bag full of, like, sandwiches and yeah. fruits. And Didn't one of them just eat pixie sticks? Uh, pixie sticks on a sandwich that had Cap'n Crunch. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My, my John Hughes movie knowledge is at an all-time low. Hey, I it's know fine. everything. That's okay. That's, that's why we make a good trivia team. Exactly. So. Uh, I'm a robot. I don't actually need to eat anything, I don't think. Oh, yeah. Well, plus, you're rich, so you can hoard all the money with me. A yeah. Frankenstein that also doesn't need to eat anything. Yeah. <laughs> That's why Take you're that rich, course. because you never have to <laughs> you never have to <laughs> buy food. Whereas I keep buying candy. <laughs> <laughs> I only need to buy food half the time. I would say that in the, the tradition of the Power Ranger movie, even though it was atrocious, um, we just we just say that the class is like or the four of us meet in a club like the mm -hmm. Halloween club or something that just happens in like the journalism room. Yeah. So we just have access to everything that's in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, yep. I mean, I assume we just got a room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they gave us We're a, an official club. They gave, yeah. They gave, yeah. But even yeah. then all the clubs just meet in whatever room at the school is most related to what they do. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we, we can maybe get like the concession stand. Concession stand. <laughs> or or arts like and the, crafts. Like, closet behind the like the like the drama club closet oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah the costume the room closet for the drama behind club. the closet yeah. <laughs> yeah they're like well we don't have space for you you can hide in the costume closet for the drama club mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. a closet closet that's the that's the perfect like place to transform and escape and and go fight crime so for sure yeah. and drama's a good one so that's perfect we have a we get the costume closet at the drama club yeah and then Amazing. we burst out and fight, I don't know, anti-Halloween forces. Yeah. 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 You know. Take that, what, Easter Bunny. Whatever. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's on the GM to figure out. Mm-hmm. I'll figure Amazing. it out. It'll be fine. All right. Uh, so we did it. We, we did made, it. We, we made uh, a resemblance of people. Mm -hmm. um, and, and my brain hurts. But mm -hmm. <laughs> we're here. Uh, thanks, thanks for being with us. Uh, 
What's what's happening now? Where are we? Yeah, now we could, now we're gonna do. <laughs> we broke you, Ryan. Now we're gonna do an episode closer, Ryan. Okay. Oh, hey, hey. Okay. Okay. All, All right. right here I'm, we go. I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Jeff and John, thank you so much for being with us and for going through this with us and for breaking Ryan. You're um, so welcome. Somehow, like, honestly, turn. this, like, warms my soul to see Ryan, like, fall apart doing a really crunchy <laughs> game. It's just, like, I, it's like some kind of, like, schadenfreude. Uh, <laughs> if I hadn't rolled a changeling. I, what we told you not to. I have to, I have to be true, to, believe in the heart of the dice. The heart of the dice, yep. <laughs> Great. Uh, Jeff and John, do you want to remind everybody where they can find you online? Of course, you can find us at SystemMasteryPodcast.com or support us over at Patreon.com slash SystemMastery. Technically, we're also on the OneShot Network, but you don't need to go to that. That yeah, website that sucks. Need, they don't need the traffic. That's, what kind of network is that? <laughs> <laughs> I hear all the shows on there are terrible. Yeah. Oh, not yeah. ours, though, because we're not even really on it. We're just we're just friends. I think you are now. You you technically are. You're on, on website, the website yeah. now. So oh, yeah, that's true. We you are can't on the website. make that not, joke anymore. I don't anymore. think we're in the feed. Yeah. No, you're not in the feed. Boom. That's we're a manual process. arm's length. <laughs> <laughs> we're afraid of commitment. <laughs> we're mostly there. <laughs> we're still shopping around. It's Maximum fine. Fun's going to return my calls one of these days. Any minute now. <laughs> Any minute, yep. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you again, and thank you to everybody for listening. Uh, please join us on the next episode for our discussion block. Call to action. Yeah, like that. Ryan, I would love to get your thoughts on this game. I love this game. <laughs> I've got, like, <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome. Or no, something. I was going to say, I don't... Mm. <laughs> it's it's so bad, but like, um, you know, it, it's interesting because there's people that are like, I still play this game, and there's there's people I that know, are we like, we had so many people on Twitter, like we're like, oh my gosh, this game, and they're like, I know, right? I love this game, and I'm I like, know. it's well, it's, there sure is something for everybody, isn't there? <laughs> it's it's hilarious because it, it's like my Heroes Unlimited for a lot of people, uh, which yeah. is really cool, and uh, the. The game is objectively not the greatest, and um, it sure makes for good recording. Like it does, and I, I I do think it's interesting, like the number of powers that are in there, and like the way that they tried to do yep. this, and like I, I mean I, I think this is one of the beauties of System Mastery as a show too. For anybody who hasn't listened, mm. um, is their ability to kind of take a game that's really bad and look at it and say okay like what what in here is usable and what mm -hmm. what did we bring forward and all that kind of stuff and so some of these older games i look at and i'm like this is garbage but also like we recently covered a really good superhero role-playing game that was all rolling on random tables mm -hmm. you know so like those things have have carried forward into really good games it's just you know, they're they're unpolished maybe like we yeah. haven't We've learned a lot of lessons in game design and come a long way. Um, you it know, the, it's the it difference the between playing, you know, an Xbox game and playing Oregon Trail. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, they're just not the same. <laughs> it's, no, it's not at all. Yeah, it's it's wild. And, like, I, I get it. And I see the bones of, of a decent experience playing this game. And mm -hmm. uh, it it's interesting examining a, a, a bad, quote, unquote, bad game. Um and, and trying to see it through the lens of, you know, modern game design. Right, right. Well, and that's the thing is that we're looking at a lot of these games with these modern sensibilities and that just wasn't how things were done. Yeah, You know, absolutely. that's just we have this, you know, depth and breadth of knowledge that mm -hmm. hadn't didn't exist yet. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, yeah, no, I'm excited. Uh, the discussion was great. Uh, so mm -hmm. next week you'll get some great discussion about this. Um, but you know, I, I, I probably had an emotional breakdown during the recording of the character creation, but, um, I think it was worth it. But you, you grew as a person from I grew, your struggle. I grew as a person. Yes. No, yeah. now I'm in What the doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I've, I've, I've gotten past denial and now I'm in the acceptance stage of, uh, you know. Of Marvel superheroes. Of Marvel superheroes. <laughs> I'm really proud of you. I'm really proud of your growth. <laughs> Yeah. Well, uh, anyway. So, uh, with all that out of the way. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, call to action. 
Uh, so we got a few oh, other geez. things Sorry. to. <laughs> <I know. laughs> So uh, a quick reminder uh, to check out the two games that we recently covered on Spotlight episodes that are still crowdfunding. Um, uh, Zabo's Bread and Breakfast and Deimos Academy are both still going. Uh, both fully funded, both going towards stretch goals. Uh, we have links in the show notes for both of those. So absolutely check them out. We are taking questions for a special anniversary Q&A. And... We would really like your questions. Yeah. We did this after our first year. Um, we haven't really directly taken questions um, like on air since then. Um, so we'd really love to hear from you. If you want another look at what has changed since the beginning, you can also go back and check out our re-recording of our session or of our episode zero yeah. at the top of the feed. Um, we had a ton of fun looking back on that one um, and oh, showing yeah. the difference between what we thought the show would be and what it is now and how we've grown. <laughs> um, so if you want to go take a listen to that, you absolutely can. Um, but if you have questions, you can find our submission form at questions.charactercreationcast.com. <laughs> absolutely. Um, another thing uh, that we're in need of aside from questions is reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, we are currently out of reviews, unfortunately. Um, I know a lot of you have left some really amazing reviews over the years. Um, and, and honestly, we'll probably start reading through those again at some point, uh, because I'm sure we've forgotten a lot of what's happened, you know, in the last <laughs> four years. I was thinking about this as like sometimes when we ask for reviews, it feels like an NPR fun drive yeah like where it's like okay i know that it's like the six people that are gonna do it already did it and so now i'm appealing to like the people that aren't mm -hmm. you know and like people that aren't hey listen up i'd yeah. really like you too but i also feel bad for the people that already did and we're just like repeating this message like exactly. they're sending us reviews and they're like i already did <laughs> you know? well uh, for the people that left us reviews on itunes already um odd chaser is doing their reviews for good again this month Oh, um, so, awesome. So April, uh, you can leave a review on Podchaser. And for every review that you leave for a podcast, they donate a certain amount of money to a charity. Uh, and then if the podcast hosts, uh, that's us, replies to that review, they match it again. Uh, nice. So and we do get email notifications when those are oh, yeah. added there. And so we will be sure to reply. I'm pretty diligent about replying as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely leave us some great reviews and we'll we'll read them out here. But also you'll be helping out some uh, some good folks out there that, that are really in need of uh, some assistance because, you know, we're not in the after times yet. And, you know, any, any sorts of charities that are out there right now are going to be uh, even more helpful. Absolutely. You can check out a recent bonus episode that we did, I did, <laughs> um, where I made characters in Weird Scouts with my kids. Mm -hmm. um, that is over on the One Shot Patreon feed. Uh, Weird Scouts is a fun, like, it's, you play scouts in like a magical forest. Mm -hmm. it's, it's super fun. Um, so you can find that on the Patreon feed. You can become a patron at patreon.com slash one shot podcast. If you listen to that and all of our backlog and our new uh, episode zero, and you're still in need of character <laughs> creation cast content after that, you can check out the playlist that I've been making for some of our old episodes. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that will fill your heart with warm character creation cast goodness until next week. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and gosh, we're, we're coming up on series 50. So, uh, we'll it's be, gonna be a good one. It's gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna be recording that soon, and I am thrilled uh, to see how that one turns out. Yeah, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. So stay tuned, everybody, and, and thanks so much for sticking through us, uh, with us through, uh, you know, both this game, uh, mm -hmm. of course, uh, and the last four years. Um, we will be back next week with uh, discussion with Jeff and John about Marvel superheroes and. Uh, probably some fanfic. Uh, yeah, and, and, and maybe some therapy for Ryan. It's a little bit of therapy. Um, what's, what's interesting is uh, we're going to be actually playing these characters, uh, and you'll be able to hear that in May uh, during mm -hmm. Jeff Stormer's uh, uh, superhero-themed uh, charity drive. So um, looking forward to that as well. So for once, we must suffer the consequences. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly. <laughs> But uh, next week, join us for the discussion. Uh, until then, be safe, 
uh, drink some water, get vaccinated, relax your shoulders, and keep making those amazing people. We'll see you next time. Character Creation Cast is a production of the One Shot Podcast Network and can be found online at www.charactercreationcast.com. Head to the website to get more information on our hosts, this show, and even our press kit. Character Creation Cast can also be found on Twitter at CreationCast or on our Discord server at discord.charactercreationcast.com. I'm one of your hosts, Ryan Bolter, and I can be found on Twitter at Lord Neptune or online at lordneptune.com. Our other host, Amelia Antrim, can be found on Twitter at Ginger Reckoning. Music for this episode is used with a Creative Commons license or with permission from the podcast they originated from. Further information can be found within the show notes. Our main theme music is Hero Remix by Steve Combs and is used with a Creative Commons license. This podcast is owned by us under Creative Commons. This episode was edited by Ryan Bolter. Further information for the game systems used and today's guests can be found in the show notes. If you'd like to leave us a rating or review, we have links to various review platforms out there, including Apple Podcasts, in our show notes. Also, check the show notes for links to our other projects. Thanks for joining us. And remember, we find that the best part of any role-playing game is character creation. So go out there and create some amazing people. We will see you next time. Now we gotta read some show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Show blurbs. Character Creation Cast is hosted by the One Shot Podcast Network. If you enjoyed our show, visit OneShotPodcast.com, where you'll find other great shows like A Horror Borealis. A Horror Borealis is an actual play Monster of the Week podcast set in the 1990s in the fictional town of Revenant, Alaska, just south of the nation's least visited national park and way north of everything else. A reclusive small game hunter with a magical secret a young anarchist librarian with a passion for conspiracy theory, and a sensible park ranger with a strong local book club following find themselves pulled together by common threads woven mysteriously into their past when monsters begin plaguing their tiny community. But they soon discover the things they're fighting run much deeper and much closer to home. Tune in for a story about identity, empathy, community, mental illness, and healing, and stay for the beloved local diner.